back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marina. Today we're going to do some major, massive cleaning. We're going to get this whole daggone trailer. No, we're not. Why did I say that? That was that was Marina. That was very motivated, Marina. Yeah. We're bringing, <laughs> bring it in. Bring we're it bringing in, bring it, it back in. <laughs> Pump the brakes. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I have no idea why I said that, but that's not going to happen today. I am going to touch some hoarder areas, though. Banks. What is it? Banks. I'm not going to do the whole trailer, but I'm going to touch some very, um, what? You could touch. You could touch. <laughs> what am I going to touch? <laughs> I am going to touch the more hoarder-like areas of my house. So, I always give y'all a disclaimer when I do cleaning videos because I have some very bothered people that are like, literally, I just had a person comment and say, How, How did I end up on this side of YouTube? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know what to do for you. She's like, How could you live that way? And I'm like, I'm sorry. I don't know. Listen, I'm as shocked that you're on this side of YouTube as as, as you are. I start going to rossing on your head. <laughs> the Naruto's up there. <laughs> I'm over here in her Shane's nerd corner but I, I i do wanted to give a disclaimer because i always do and this woman just what <laughs> what is it clarice i just said what? clarice is our newest uh, assistant i'm so used to kids hollering my name and i and i say what so when binks bark it literally is just like what <laughs> hey banks you will be grounded <laughs> dog meat grounded he's back talking to you don't you say no. No! <laughs> Always give a disclaimer, but I just want to say, y'all, if if I'm a, if if you're just scrolling and I'm here and I'm in all my glory in my trailer and and you see just the the hint of mess back there and you're like, "Where am I?" You are on the hot mess side of YouTube. And if you're even wondering why you're here, then that probably means you shouldn't be here. I would love for you to stay. But I may just not be the channel for you. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. So there's my disclaimer. You're about to see some gross stuff. You're about to see some messy stuff. You're about to have to get a look into the life of a generally naturally messy person. Um, I document on my channel me trying to change that, but I'm not, that's not going to happen overnight. I'm not going to be a, a, a neater person overnight. I am doing better though. I've been getting so many compliments about how I've been doing like with the living room and the kitchen, but I made a promise to myself and I made a promise to God that I would be authentic and I would be real and I would show you real life. That being said, I'm so glad y'all are proud of me for keeping up my living room and my kitchen. But it has been at the expense of my bedroom and bathroom. I'm still trying to get a routine down. I'm still trying to um, kind of, I don't know, do a little bit in each room every day to keep it all under control. But it's a process. And I just, I'm here to let people know, hey, if you're a messy person like me, if it's hard for you to be clean, if it's hard for you to be neat, you're not alone. Um, and I'm living proof that we do get, we can get better if we try. So I may not be your cup of tea, but I'm somebody's cup of tea and they need to see this. So that's who I'm here for. Even if it's one person who feels less than because their house is less than perfect, I want them to know that they are not alone. In their journey to be a better homemaker, I want you to know you're not alone. And the empty nester who used to struggle with keeping their home clean and they feel bad about it, I want you to know you're not alone. Listen, if you keep a clean house and it's gorgeous, you're still not alone because I'm here for you. I'm like, yes, we, we strive to be that way. You do the daggone thing. As for me, though, it, it does get messy. It does get gross, and I do show it online. Okay, so let me get my bun up because y'all know when the bun goes up, stuff goes down. All right, bun up. Wet bun because I just got out of the shower. But bun up. I'm going to show you what we're tackling today, what we're dealing with. The, the level of mess we're dealing with is crazy today. Um, and we're going to start off in my bathroom. We're probably only going to get my bathroom and my bedroom done today because my living room and kitchen looks pretty good still. Um, probably going to get my bathroom and my bedroom done today because that's all I'm going to have time for because it's bad. <laughs> Let me show you what we're working with. Oh, look, it looks so clean and oh my gosh. Okay, so the water in the toilet running can change the use bathroom, but this is what we're dealing with. We got the Loch Ness Monster over here. Um, we got some empty shampoo bottles over there. Got a comic book, because, I don't know, I guess somebody wanted to do some bathroom reading. Uh, we got, let me make sure there's no underwear in there. Yeah, there's no underwear right there. We got some dirty clothes. Um... 
a decapitated toilet brush. It's a mess in there. That, okay, I hope you didn't see the toilet. I just had to close it because nobody wants to see a dookie ring. We got a plunger over there chilling on a bag. Um, it's 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 bad. Okay, so let's get going. Let's do let's do this fearfully created style. Somebody was taking a nap. Thinking about the days we used to fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. Somebody must have been eating a cupcake on the pot. We were such a constellation right no you to agree very lower angles when I play with this thing. Golly, is it this hard to turn butter? And I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops It's cold outside and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too Okay, this, the bleach, is what I have to use in my bathroom because the dookie rings are strong in this house. So, am I gonna show you? No. Uh, I'll try to stay, I'll try to, yeah. I'll try to get it out of frame. <laughs> Last time, I used all of it and it about knocked me out, so I didn't make that mistake this time. I just used a crap ton. Then for the rim of the toilet, I'm going to use this awesome, uh, it, LA's Totally Awesome Bathroom Cleaner. It's the stuff that you get from Dollar Tree. I'm going to see if it works. Can I mix this with the bleach? I don't think so. But, we're going to do it. Oh, we're gonna let that sit for a few minutes because it's got some work to do. do you have a there is a hard water ring, so just know like if that suds goes down and you see a ring, it's not what you think it is. It's hard water. But I got something to try. I don't know if I can try it with this stuff, so I'm gonna flush this and then you're gonna see the ring. But it's hard water, okay? Nobody's dropped a cow patty that big. It's literally hard water. I'm gonna try these new things um, and see if they work. Hold on, let me show you. Okay, so the instructions are a little weird, but it said to take this out of here, remove the backing, 
and put the applicator against the toilet, the edge of the toilet, until the gel's all on there, and then I can pull the applicator back. Y'all don't know it, but that was me saying that for the second time because I, <laughs> I wasn't filming the first time. So I did press the applicator onto the side of the toilet, and all the gel came out. I pulled it off, and now I got a jelly turd on the side of my toilet, but it smells good. That is what the applicator looks like once all the gel's out of it. These are really cool. It's supposed to last like six weeks, I think. Oh, 12 weeks. Holy moly, no phosphates. That's awesome. I don't know what that is, but that's great. Now I gotta tackle all this mess. I can never make it on my own. some more Lysol ones. I didn't even know I had these. So I have this kind, which is the regular kind, and I have these, which are the, these are the mango and hibiscus ones, and these are the regular ones. I want to show you guys so I just this is empty I just finished it it is the method body it's by method and y'all know I love method everything but it's by method and it's the peony rose water pink sea salt uh, body wash I love it not only does it smell awesome, but it leaves my like skin feeling so clean. That's hard because I'm sweating 99.9% .9 of the time. But I love it. It's naturally derived, no bad vibes. <laughs> well, but it does leave my skin feeling super moisturized. I love it. And it's fairly cheap. Plus, it lathers up very good. And that's one thing I have to have with body washes and body soaps. They have to lather. I can't feel like I'm just putting, I'm just rubbing stuff all over me. Like it has to lather. I have to see the proof that it's working, and this does that. So, huh? The proof has to be in the pudding. It smells so good. That one's empty, and the one I'm using now is this Dove one. And oh my Lanta. I love Dove everything, but it is pricier. But it smells good, and it, it's even softer. Of course, it's softer than the Method one, but the Method one does a good job too. So, but this I love Dove. And then for shampoo and conditioner, I'm almost done with these. But I've been loving. I used this as a kid. Nanny had this. This is what Nanny washed my hair in when I was like Colton's age. Okay, maybe not Colton's age. Maybe like four. Um, so I saw this on Amazon and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't know they still made that. It does smell very grandma -y, but I, I like it. And Shane hasn't complained. He's smelled grandma -y for the past couple of months and he hasn't complained. This has lasted us a while. It's the big pump one. The conditioner, there's more in it because Shane doesn't use conditioner. But this one is the herbal, the herbal, <laughs> this one's the herbal essence. <laughs> the herbal. This one's the herbal essence and it's in the rose hips. The hips don't lie, I'm starting to feel sweaty. Um, this one, this one, it smells, it smells florally, florally, but it's not that, it's not giving me nursing home vibes. It smells, it smells good. It smells clean. 
So for my shower, my bathtub, I'm gonna use the same LA's Totally Awesome stuff from Dollar Tree, but this one is the Daily Shower. It's the clear one. And it's in the fresh scent, works on contact. That's what we need. <laughs> so the yellow one's the bathroom one, and this one's the shower one. I don't know what the difference is. But I'm gonna use this one for the shower. Well, that was anticlimactic. It wasn't even open. All the future and what's been. Smells fresh. That smell that doesn't that doesn't smell artificially fresh like most cleaners do. You know how they say smell fresh and like it does not smell fresh. It smells like chemicals. chemicals. This actually smells kind of fresh, but it does have that it's still chemically. I mean, but it does smell good. Maybe that's the shampoo in my hands. I don't know. Can't tell. I'll pour my drawers up. Cause they falling down. Lord, please don't let nobody see any butt crack. Not even half an inch. <laughs> okay, it don't smell fresh no more. <coughs> oh my gosh. That smells like it might take me out. <clears throat> uh, not on a hot day, neither. <laughs> like to the graveyard. <laughs> That looks really bare, but I usually put stacks of toilet paper there. I need to put those up there real quick. But I just don't feel right sharing my toilet. I just don't. It feels weird. Okay. Bathroom's done. Y'all hungry? Yep. I'm going to get dinner, and then... <laughs> I'm going to get dinner. I just I made it sound like I was super dinner. mom. I'm so sorry. Y'all do not think I'm about to go stand over a stove in between cleaning these rooms. I'm about to go get something out for them. Um, just, I just... Yeah. We're... Yeah. <laughs> So I got that room done, and when I get back, I'll be starting on the bedroom. But I am sweating. I don't know why I took a shower beforehand. I guess I wanted to get clean to get dirty again. I don't know. But I'm going to go there, get food, come back, do this bedroom, which is horrible. Okay, so I'm back, and it is almost, I think it's like 8.30. I just got back to a couple of comments. Well, I actually spent an hour getting back to comments. I am try to always be in my comments for like the first hour at least sometimes two hours it just depends on how much time i have um but we got something to eat i got back to some comments i'm gonna show you what this room looks like but remember <sighs> we saw like it's gonna be okay <laughs> if we're gonna get it done it's gonna be okay right now i can't walk through it but it's fine it's fine we're gonna get it done that's what that's what's important i got my donald trump hand going <laughs> we're going to um we're going to get it done and that's what matters. So, ready? Okay, we're gonna orbit. Oh, it's bad. Um, if y'all are new here, hey, what's up? I have stains on my mattress and they're really bad. I even remember one person telling me it made them throw up, so I don't know how accurate that is, but just wanna say, just in case, you know, you got a queasy stomach, um, how am I going to get back in there? This is a mess, y'all. Look at this. Hold on, let me get a good thumbnail. Let me get a good thumbnail. Hold on. How should we do it? Should we do dramatic? <gasps> no. <laughs> is that better? Should I do it this way? Like, oh, I'm kind of sad for my decisions, but... It's okay, or should I do totally sad for my decisions? Or should I do, oh, I'm beside myself because my 
decisions. Or should I go, oh, look what, look what I did, Mom. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Pretend I'm with someone. Woo. Look at that. All right, let's do the daggone thing. <sighs> pumping, pumping myself up. I am fearfully created and I can tackle this mess. Fearfully tackle this mess. Fearfully tackle this mess. I can courageously. Why am I not create courageously created? Because that's a tongue twister. That's why. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> so we're going to do my orbiting method, which is basically just pretend my room is Earth and I am the moon. Or I am the sun. Wait, do we orbit around the Earth? Or do I orbit? Hey, Shane! Shane! Yeah. Does the sun orbit around the earth or does the earth orbit around the sun? Earth around the sun, Marina. Oops, I've been saying it wrong this whole time. Do you need help, Mama? Oh no, baby. Thank you, though. Guess what they've put on Disney Plus, and we have to watch it what? as a family sometime this week. What? Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> it has really bad work. Well, I, I know where they are. What's that pink thing in the toilet? <laughs> That's the gel thing. It's supposed to make it smell good for like. You sure that didn't come out of your butt? I told you it looked like a jelly turd. Jelly turd. <laughs> Nobody can see me poop, bro. You're gonna poop? Yeah. I no, I just got here clean. Yeah. wondering why I'm picking up clothes out of the floor and folding them like they're clean it's because they are clean and if they well I mean they were until they were put in the floor and then we walked on them I'm sure but they, they don't smell bad so they're still clean right that my friends is called the sniff test
seen all the things, all the places. I hope it means that you'll come home to me once you travel the world, all the spaces inside your heart. So I'm listening to worship music. Um, I had to break in here. I'm about to break in here. <laughs> I'm about to head over to my Jesus Instagram, which I have. I have two Instagrams, but they're both pretty much Jesus Instagrams because <laughs> I share so much about Jesus. But um, I, I was listening to this, and I was singing, I was worshiping, and I almost stopped because I. In the song I was listening to, it was Promises by Maverick City Worship. And you know how, like, when you get into worship, like, you're in it, right? And you're like, yes, Lord, like, it's all about you. But I was listening to the, to the words, and it was almost like, for a moment there, not all of the song, but for a moment there, it was all about me. And I almost stopped worshiping because of that. Not because I was like, oh, hi, mighty, like, oh, this should be about God, which it should be. Um, but I was singing it, and it came to a point when it said, it was like, though the storms may come and the winds may blow, I will remain steadfast. And while singing that, I stopped. Because I was like, Lord, I can't promise you that. I can't promise you that I'll remain steadfast. There's been a record. I have a record a mile long of times I didn't stay steadfast. Because I'm human. Because of my, of my nature. Because of the human nature, I didn't remain steadfast. But there's one thing I know for sure is I can change up those words and say, though the storms may come, though the winds may blow, you will remain steadfast because he will and his promises remain the same. So I encourage you, if that's what's stopping you from worship, a lot of these songs, we build up ourselves, right? And we're like, Lord, I'll never deny your name. Lord, I'll never be shaken. And and then it comes and we're shaken. We're shaken to our core and then we feel like a liar because we've been singing this to Jesus and we feel like less than because we've said this and we've put this out here and here we are failing but one thing you can always know is he will remain steadfast regardless of if you remain steadfast or not he will remain steadfast because that's the nature of God our nature is human nature our nature is sinful but God's nature is perfect and he will always remain steadfast okay going back to cleaning <laughs> Are you still recording? You're just laying here looking at yourself. What are you doing? Shane! What are you doing? You've been recording this whole time. Have I? Yeah. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana. The rain is forming into rivers outside Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With a habit to the restless me Turn on it! <sighs> Welcome to our house. The flavor of the week is great. Turn that around. <laughs> that bed looks pissed off. No, not that way. Turn it around. Shane, you just flipped it. No, like, long hung it. Long hung it. <laughs> long hung it. No, like, long hung it. That looks terrible. That stupid. <laughs> you need neatly put over here. Get off of it. <laughs>
it took two days <laughs> it was a lot but I got those two areas of my home done I encourage you to tackle those hoarder areas in your home and get the daggone thing done you'll thank yourself later now I gotta go and start filming a whole other video I love y'all hope you have a blessed morning even not whatever it is wherever you're at know that I love you but Jesus loves you more I'll see y'all tomorrow